What is up guys, this is Nobles Club 104, Genghis Khan, um, and you might remember Absolute Zero played this map a long time ago, um, and I thought I would give the map a go myself, ten years later, and see how it goes. Maybe Chris will watch this series someday and have a good laugh at it. Was, I think he called it the Wrath of Khan. Uh, it was a very hard map because he got attacked like five times. Let's hope that doesn't happen to us. Doing this on DD difficulty, normal speed. No huts, no events. It's a lakes map on a high sea level, so we're going to have quite a bit of uh, random lakes, I guess. Might be big or whatever. Otherwise, the map is just a straight block of land, so it's kind of similar to Inland Sea a bit, I suppose. 1300 land tiles. Uh, I believe there's only 6 AI, so yeah, everyone gets a bit more room than usual. Might have some big monsters. Hopefully it's not too bad. Give the barbs their starting techs. Whoops, I see copper. Not really avoidable, but um, yeah, I need to give the bubs their starting text. It's pretty important, otherwise, the bub cities will spawn with a bunch of warriors instead of archers, and AI will take them really quickly. So, yeah. Okay, what are we doing here? Um, so I think Chris, when he played this map, he went over here. Settled on the incense to get the river. Although, I'm a big fan of high food hammer starts, and I believe in the fact commerce can come later, especially if you have rivers. A lot of forests. Um, oh, look at that gold there. Um, so we have a corn up here, I could move for that. Eh, I don't think it's necessary. Actually, I could just put a city over here, like... Here, and get the corn and the gold that way instead. Could also share the pig, so a pretty good spot. Or up here, maybe. One of these spots. Um, so I think selling in place is really good. You get the wet corn, you can cottage these tiles, so you get a fair bit of river tiles, it's not too bad. And then you can mine the pig straight away as well, and get really nice early production. Pump out your early warriors, um, and then your workers and settlers really quickly. Keep in mind where Genghis Khan, so we're imperialistic, and hammers are 50% more effective when building a settler. That doesn't affect food, it only affects hammers, but we have a lot of hammers if we mine this and mine that. So that's pretty cool. Um, pretty weak leader, however. Aggressive imperialistic. But good in the early game, you get better warriors, which will help your fog busting. You can skip archery, potentially. Um, and then imperialistic gets your settlers out faster, so as long as we keep the commerce going, Cottages, gold, rivers, etc. We should be in pretty good shape. Um, Genghis card, yeah. I mean, the starting techs are pretty awkward. You're, you don't have agriculture and you're a while away from bronze working. Um, but having the wheel is good, the wheel's expensive. So it's not the worst thing ever. Um, yeah. I think he's a pretty weak leader though, very hard to keep your economy alive with him, it crashes pretty easily with this guy because of the slow starting techs and that imperialistic, so I really have to watch it. But yeah, let's get into it. Hey, you could go settler first. With the plane still an imperialistic, it's only 15 turns, it's not too shabby. We'll select our tech on turn 5, maybe meet another AI. Uh, but otherwise, let's get into it. I'm gonna do a little 
loop around and maybe fog bust the tundra or something. Kind of see the tundra. Well, maybe not. It's just the hill. Um, but we're definitely in the south because the bushy trees are here and then the Christmas trees are here. Get a little discount. Actually, I'll wait until the border pop. Might get more research by working that. I don't know. Maybe it'll drop down to four turns. Gave the barbs their stunning tanks, didn't I? Double check that. Kind of forget these things. <laughs> okay, five turns working this, that's nice. Okay, turn five, so animals appear next turn, and then we get archers at turn eleven. I'm gonna go like right on this tundra tile and fog bust a huge box right here. Should be pretty good. Oh, maybe not. Really, dude? He wants to eat me. Random wolf. Other than the bear, I'm covering a huge area here. This is really good and stops the archers from appearing really close by. Tundra is the most annoying part. Hopefully, like a Soaker and stuff will fog bust around the north and the center. More likely to get fog busted by that. Other AI. So everyone's connected. We can meet everyone pretty early on this map. It's like a Pangea with some random lakes in between. I don't play this map to map script too often, but maybe I should. It's really not that bad. I think it's a bit easier than in Land Sea. You can reach everyone relatively quickly because the map is cylindrical. So that's pretty cool. Oh, the bear. Not the bear. <clears throat> Ahsoka, don't get eaten. Okay, we're going to go barracks first, because we're probably going to have a lot of production. First of all, we have a plain seal, so the barracks is already 13 turns only. But once I put a mine on that, we're going to have 5 production per turn, which is just going to 5 turn this bastard here. Because we're aggressive. And then with aggressive, we get 2 promotions on the warriors once we have a barracks, so we can get cover. Which is really cool. And cover warriors in a forest should have like 80% odds against barb archers. Um, so, that's a very effective way to fog bust. Um, and a way to leverage that trait. I think it's pretty cool. Don't have to go archery that way. So we can build a road on the way to the corn, and this actually does play a part. Saves quite a few early worker turns, because I rode on the way to the corn, and then I can road on the way back to the pig, and then go from here to here, and then here in one turn, and then mine that bastard, so I basically get like a free road. That'll connect me to the river, so if I settle another city along the river, it'll immediately be connected. So getting free roads like that makes a big difference. Also means I can get my settler straight to here instead of going here and stopping or same vice versa going this way. I can go like half, one and a half, two instead of just one, two and stop. Saves a turn. So do look for opportunities to get for free roads whenever you can. Um, nice perk about starting with the wheel. begins by carrying away small stones. So we're not going to go Animal Husbandry because I'm just going to mine this. I'm instead going to go straight for bronze working and chop all these forests down. Some of them anyway. I'll get my early workers and settlers out that way. Should be a pretty fast start. There we go. Barracks is almost done. 
Then we're gonna mine this. I might mine this. Work the extra hammers with Imperialistic, it should be pretty good. Even a mine just on a plains hill is like six hammers when you're building a settler with Imperialistic. It's pretty good. The Wangster. Didn't get a religion. Interesting. Here we go. Kinda wanna work that, I don't know. I think the extra food is fine though. Might change it up at size four. Actually, I could change it now. I don't grow any slower. Yeah, because I might not grow past size four for a while since I'm unhappy at size five unless I have a warrior there. But yeah, my scout's doing huge work here, fog busting all this. Could even go here if I want to cover more, but I don't really want guys popping up here and then bothering me. I think this is fine like this. We're gonna get a few of these guys out. Uh, I want to go for the golden corn spot. Once my capital pops borders, I will get the corn in my border, and then that city will be able to work with. So I think I want to go like right here. Get the gold. Now I can work the gold for like 10 turns until I pop borders. That way I'll have that extra commerce to get me through the early worker techs, and I'll be able to expand freely for a while. Um, pump out the settlers with this pumper capital. Because I really value... Um, having lots of food hammers in the capital. I like this Plains Hill Saddle. And I think we had copper somewhere. Maybe. Uh, let's go... Maybe up here, toward the middle of the map. Okay, let's work the mine. I think I can afford at least another warrior and then I'll start the settler. I think I might just start roading to that spot while I wait for bronze working. I'll take the commerce. Wheat up here, interesting. Could go for that. Maybe number four. I think I still want to go here, otherwise, this might get stolen. Okay, Hammy's already here, yeah. If I try to go for this, Hammy's just gonna plonk a city like right here and steal my freaking corn, that would really suck. I don't think I want to do that. But alright, 5 turn settler, can't really argue with that. Diddy Dazu. Yeah, he's a bastard. I think he marched across the map and screwed over Chris's game, if I remember correctly. So let's hope he doesn't do that to us. He's a bastard. Another bastard. It is entirely seen These guys are trying to heal up man killed in battle to lie mangled by the bronze spear. In his death, all things appear fair. Okay, I've got copper, yep. Can I Oh can't get it any faster, that's alright. I would like to have the road done before I settle the city, that way I get plus two commerce immediately. And I think I want to go over here, potentially. Maybe here, get the gems. Or here. Actually here I can build a lighthouse on the lake, that'd be pretty nice, because this is apparently ocean. But this is a uh, freshwater lake. Build a lighthouse in a city right here, and then put another one for the fish, or even just go here. I don't know. Kind of awkward to settle. You could go here and here, or here, and yeah, I might go here and then see if I can get the fish later. 
So let's dot map that spot. Floodplain here, one single floodplain. Actually, that's a bug. I don't think that should have a commerce on it, but anyway, won't complain too much about that. Uh, mysticism... I don't know. I could go here. I really want the gold though, and I want to work the gold nice and early, so I can freely expand. I can get pottery, fishing, mysticism, animal husbandry, etc. with the help of the gold. I think here, and then if that's still not settled, I'll go for that. Um, this, of course, for the gems and pig would be really nice. I'll just go pottery now, because after I mine that, I might immediately go cottage a couple tiles to keep me going. Wouldn't be a bad thing to pick up. Animal husbandry. I will need animal husbandry for that, but maybe that can wait a bit, because I'm going here first. Let's go pottery. There's Brennus. Oh, hello. Uh, he promoted to combat one, which is not good. Hopefully I win that. Yeah! Aggressive, baby. 29%. The Wrath of Khan. Indeed. Okay, there's another spot here I want to get with the corn, hopefully. Um, before Brennus gets there, maybe like right here or something. Can grab the corn, get the floodplain, work a few cottages. It's not on the river, but... I'm not playing that kind of game anyway. I'm gonna go for like engineering, I think. Would be fun. Could chop a second worker out really quickly since I'm close to pottery. Or I could just jump on the gold right now. I'm gonna chop another guy out. <laughs> You're crazy. <clears throat> We'll do another worker here, because I'm going to get two workers out, and then I'm going to go nuts on the Settler Spam. Let's do that, and take this in here. Get some fast progress on this worker real quick. This worker will come out first, and then I'll do, like, a bunch of Settlers. Then we get this worker a bit later to help out. Should be good. Okay, I have to wait. Hopefully these bastards don't steal my gems. Might go for this first, and then the wheat after. I don't know, the wheat is pretty nice, dude, but... Uh, never mind, Ahsoka says no. Prick. Okay, got that guy out, let's get pottery. I need a warrior down here, or two, but I wanted to get that worker first. What do we think, dude? Fast settler? Not fast enough. Let's do this then. What if I did this? I could get it in four turns if I really wanted to. Maybe I should. Let's go mine that real quick. Yeah, I'll just go for the fast settler and go up here. It's pretty safe. I need to get this before Hammy gets my gems. If Hammy plonks on this hill, that'll suck. Blocks me off pretty badly. Already lost this spot. I doubt I'll get the wheat. So I, I guess I could go up here, but... Culture war with this guy is not really what you want. And then, yeah, I think I'll go here and then, like, down here. And then I have four good spots. I don't think I'll lose this. Who built that? Sumeria. Wow. Creative Gilgamesh. Being creative. Can I... Okay, great. 
Oh, I can even do that if I want. Maybe I will. Get a bit of extra commerce in while I can. It's 19 hammers. So that's 21. Maybe I'll take the hammers because I'm getting gold anyway. To be honest. But I'll take the extra hammers. Let's do this for one more turn. Then I can get the worker in. Uh, nine turns, maybe? Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one Ooh, vessel shot. unto honor and another unto dishonor? Ten turns. Okay, that's fine. Good, good, busy. Okay, we have this bastard coming in. We're gonna want animal husbandry for this city. And we're gonna really want some warriors so we don't die. Because here they come. I'm one turning warriors though, so that's why I'm okay. This spot quickly. Maybe it's time to road this up because they could spear me. I'm still pretty vulnerable. Um, I don't know if this is safe up here or not, so maybe I should check. It looks like it's pretty safe up here with them walking around like that. Let's chop this worker out and speed it up a few turns because the chop will make a big difference since the base production is so slow here. Right, just enough to one turn a warrior. Let's do that. Yeah! Aggressive! Baby! And I think I just start on the next settler, really. Yeah, pretty good pumpage there. What's his odds? Okay, this guy's badly wounded, he shouldn't be an issue. Let's grab this. Oh, shite. Another guy over there coming in. Alright. Grab animal husbandry. Yeah, this is getting a bit sketch. Can we get that in four? Yeah, let's get it in four so I can develop that new city faster. bit sketch. I think I can... Okay. Gotta stop this conga line. Right, I need to move back in position, that's why. Got chased off and didn't move back. Aha! Okay, this guy is fully fortified in a hill with combat one. I'm gonna say I'll be okay. That should be strength, like, four. I'll just attack that bastard and get 2 XP and another promotion. Heck yeah, dude. I might go on that forest hill because I can still get pretty messed up down there. Okay, don't lose, please. Okay, that guy's wounded. Should have pretty good odds. Nobody there, that's good. Okay, got that worker. Animal husbandry in two, I need to get over there. Need a fog bust over here. And you should go here. Because no one else should appear after this guy. Um might go in here to be extra safe. And we'll just get an axe out after that to assure our safety. <clears throat> Okay, don't lose, dude, please. It's like 99%. Yeah! 4% and the warrior had, yeah, 99.3% 99, 99 in my favour. Okay, I'm in position to improve the peak now, that's perfect. 
I need to road, but that can wait a little bit. Um, so the third city only adds plus one commerce when you road it. It's actually not that big of a deal. It's the second, the first two cities though. Um, is two commerce because you're giving a commerce to each city when they start with none and then just roading the third one just gives a commerce to that city so it's only plus one but this is plus two uh corn is coming in three turns i could work my way over there maybe pre-chop the granary and then improve the thing i don't know this guy could go and cottage some of these tiles here, maybe. Maybe both of them. Okay, Brennus should be fuck busting these tiles, and then I'm fuck busting as well. So I don't actually have to move this guy out of my territory yet. I could sneak down in here. Uh, so do I want a cottage, whoops, do I want a cottage here or here first? Or do I just want a chop? Next one is going to go here. I might go cottage the uh, wine first, so I can um, share it to this guy. Don't think there's anyone else coming. If there is, I will be getting an axe. Go there. That way I'm fog busting. Uh, well, unless there's a guy right there, I'll be able to see if there's a guy trying to sneak. Well, maybe I won't actually. Maybe I'll go uh, down here next. I can still sneak like around here like bastards. Gotta be careful of this flank. <clears throat> uh, let's double check that this is safe because I am gonna move a settler out there. Paying unit cost, yep, that's why we work in the gold. Fishing, writing, well, number four could go here, number five. I think if I grab this, this should be safe for a while. Maybe I put number five up here with the fish. Right there. So maybe fishing. gonna go slavery right now before I forget. Got a settler on the move and I'm waiting for a pig to be improved and waiting for a cottage to be improved. It's a really good time to do slavery while you're working crap tiles because you progress the improvements while you're in anarchy. And yeah I'm gonna need more oh, okay. gonna need more workers. I've got a farm over here and I'm about to settle for my fourth city. We might go worker here. I think we're pretty safe from the barbs. Might not need that axe at the moment, and I can get them out if I do need them. Right, let's chop this. Economy. Debating it. Nice, grow a turn faster. Yeah, it's probably still worth it. Let's do it. Granary. You can share the two cottages here as well with the capitals. It's not a bad spot. Gets this floodplains to make a bit of money back. It's not too bad, but ouch. Yeah, okay, it is pretty bad. <laughs> oh, because you stole this, you bastard. No, it's not too bad, actually. Almost break-even. Once I get the roads up, should be looking better. I'm gonna go for an early library here, so yeah, granary and then library after that, probably. He's the pig. And 
And yeah, I think I'll go for the fish next. So I might road this while I'm here and then connect it up. Save some turns on the settler. Let's get the corn online. And then I'm going to put another cottage down with this guy and try to grow a bit. And yeah, we are chilling. Um, might be able to get that in time. I'd like to get fishing actually. Then I can work the lakes in here instead of the stupid forest. Would help me a lot with commerce. It looks pretty safe thus far. Keep that guy around there for emergencies. Actually, let's do a swap. Let's put you over there. You're a bit better. Put you in the city to retire. This should be pretty safe. These guys have their cities in my face up here. Gonna need a border pop here, otherwise he might steal my gems. It would kind of suck. Can't get fishing any faster, can I? Right? Nah. Nah, it's not gonna happen. But I can get it next time. Yeah, that guy is kind of harmless. I want to grow to size 5. Maybe I'll go granary really quickly. Or maybe I'll go settler and then switch to the grassland when I have the cottage improved. Maybe that's the play. Just pump the settlers, dude. It's the power of Genghis Khan, imperialistic with a good start for hammers and food. I've got four cities and four workers at turn 50 pretty much, which is just insane. 1054, four cities and four workers. Like, that's insane expansion. I'm keeping up with the DDAIs, as you can see. So, hell yeah, dude. Except the Soka, he's kind of... He's killing it, dude. Six cities, holy crap. But everyone else, I mean, they're only at five cities. I'm already at four, and I'm on the next settler already. Like, just five turning settlers in this beast of a capital. What's this? Give a man a fish, okay. and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish. Man, that's work the commerce, the bro. I tell it to work commerce, and it just doesn't want to work it. We have issues. Okay. Maybe we go for the granary or the uh, the corn now. And try to grow. Then I can permanently work the gold with this addition here. I think writing next, I might just skip mysticism and go for a library in here to get my gems and stuff. Go for a library here and a library here, we'll chop it out. I think that's better than just getting mysticism. Earlier writing, earlier libraries, earlier scientists, earlier research boost, etc. Commerce is pretty dead, uh, we're doing the Genghis Khan special, but yeah, I'm not working the gold actually, so that's why. Five turns we'll get the gold and pr probably be able to go for writing. Okay, you're working the commerce now, good boy. What we can do is we can leave this at 26 out of 60, and we can put hammers into work boat so that at size 4 I can 2-pop with this granary into the boat and get both with one whip. Really efficient way to use slavery is doing 2-pop whips like so. Maximizing overflow, etc. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Um, we could chop in here, although I don't really have much to build until writing, so I don't think I want to chop there. I could chop in my capital. And yeah, the next one's gonna go down here, we can start thinking about that as well. I wouldn't mind putting a mine here for later, it would help me build my libraries as well. I could also cottage here. Get a tile to work at size 3, maybe I'll do that. While I'm over there. Okay, this prick is like trying to sneak past. I don't appreciate this. Being a real bastard, if you ask me. That's really cheeky. Let's get some backup. 
even know if my backup will get there in time. Wow. I hope he goes for Brennus and doesn't just turn around and go for me. That's really freaking annoying. Work that in a minute. Maybe next turn we can switch the tiles. Cottage that. I'm gonna cottage everything in here. Good to have fast workers, bro. I'm gonna go here. Oh, you bastard. You freaking bastard. Okay. I'm gonna put this warrior here. I'm not even gonna promote him. I'm gonna hope that he just attacks me here because this is an easier target than this guy. I don't want him to take the city or even have a chance. That's really annoying. I think he will just target this guy because he's got like a decent chance at it. If I lose the city, man, I'm gonna be pretty pissed off. That's bullshit. I thought he went for Brennus, but no, he like went up here and then turned around and went for me. That's not fair, dude. Try that. We'll switch to that when we get a cottage there. I'm gonna road this tile that connects it to the river, which connects it to everything essentially. Okay, thank god. Yeah, he attacked this guy, see? The bait kind of worked. But boy, that was a bit spooky. 21%, he would have had about 7% at the city, I would say, because I'm 3.4 strength, I think. 25 city defense, 25 city defense against barbs, 20% strength. But, yeah. Okay, two guys roading that, then we can jump to that tile and improve that. You can probably go back. Because we're growing here now. I think I'll even do that for a bit and just put some hammers into a granary or something. Unit cost is still pretty bad. So yeah, getting out the axe. Uh, we might need the axe down here though on second thought. So maybe I will get him out. I think I'll go on that forest there. I guess I could go here too on the hill. The share cottage is a bit more that way. Yeah, maybe that's the play. I lose a hill, which is kind of a nice tile. But maybe it's okay. Can farm that. Um, work some cottages and share it with the capital. Yeah, I like that for the cottage sharing. It's like down here, I just gain a bunch of tundra crap. It's not really necessary. Need to get to writing. Growth is pretty fast since we do have the cottage, although I think I'll work the gold for one more turn and then grow in two with the cottage. Try to min-max my commerce here without screwing myself up too much. Right, any more bastards coming down there? I don't think so. Get in position to improve. Get that cottage up. Gonna need the guy in here now. Let's get that axe out. Bit of extra defense. Oh, shut. I was gonna go here, wasn't I? Yeah, that work boat is... questionable.
Ah, oh, that just means I need a settler up there, doesn't it? Can get one out pretty quick. Okay, no biggie. Hey, my cottages are growing. Oh, hello. Yes, you sneaky bastard. Yeah, size 5 will go for another settler. Really quickly get him out. Causing crimes against humanity, holy shit, hold on. Okay. It's a bad kitty. Okay, once we grow to size 3 and we work the gold, I think that's when we push for riding. This is kind of not perfectly timed, but oh well. Uh, I guess I could put this massive overflow into a freaking worker. How quick would I get the boat normally, though? I guess I could just chop the boat when my settler gets up there. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Let's leave this axe one turn away and just get him out if I need him because I really don't want to pay the maintenance for it. Sumeria, building everything apparently, all right. Gilgamesh, dude, just got his creative vibes on today. Hell yeah, dude. All right, we got the cottages going though. The economy should improve. And yeah, we'll get this worker out a bit later. Um, I have all this overflow and I don't need the boat for a few more turns. Ooh, hammy, 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 hammy. Don't like that. That must be... Hold on a sec. No, that is right there. Ah, oh, he's trying to get the fish. I should be able to take that off him though. I might need to get mysticism. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I could share the peak though, it's not the end of the world. Okay. We'll do that. Pleased, huh? Your small civilization is no threat to us. Plus two. Well, you're a big bastard, aren't you? Let's get the shareable cottages going as soon as possible. Maybe even here as well. Just double chop the granary or whatever. Yeah, actually, you could put this chop into the boat. Let's grow really quickly, maybe, and progress the boats, or I could just get the worker out first. Maybe just get the worker first. Can we... No. Oh, shite. Go for India, please, not me. Okay, we've got that forest here. This forest should go into here. also get this spot here with the copper and the crab. I want to go for that though. Yeah, I probably should have settled up here first before down here. Oh, well. Alright, we can get riding I think. Let's go. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay, looks like that spear went to harass Ahsoka, thank god, not us. Ah, uh, that needs to be fuck busted, dude. And everything should be covered now. Get ready to chop out some libraries then. Yeah, now thanks to the road I can get there really quickly. Grab that spot. Two pop weapon here into a library or something. I want to two pop with that. 
So I'll take the forest here. I'll chop this axe with a bajillion overflow purposely so I can overflow into the library then. Maybe that's the play. Get that library out really quick, please. Um, I think I'll chop and then cottage. Get an early library out of here. Go for chariots, I suppose. Oh, he's got a monument, that's not good. Yeah, need to get a monument up fast. Oh shit, I got that guy out one turn too early. Okay, I'm gonna have to just work nothing this turn. store the overflow by pressing 1 so I can put it into a library next turn and we'll steal this tile here for a sec uh, kind of messed up I do want these warriors, I'll just put them back in my cities now for happiness. Again, well, it doesn't make a difference actually. Yeah, press one to store it. Let's whip this guy. Yeah, I messed that up. Okay, now we try and get this library as fast as freaking possible here. Although that shop will finish it, so maybe I'll go for this one instead. Get libraries everywhere. Like a library for the gold mine would be pretty good, and I could whip this in a couple turns in Beshbalik. Yeah, and that shop should finish it in the capital. Here, Tefan. Library, Granary. If it just lets me have this fish for a few turns, I can whip a monument at size 2. Just have the issue of a crashed economy at the moment. The Jenga special. Don't pop borders, you bastard. Give me some time. Once I hit size 4, I whip the library and run... Might need to do this, actually. Uh, run scientists at size 4 in here, because of the unhappiness anyway. Yeah, let's do that. Whip it in two turns, grow in two turns is perfect. This cottage should be finished now, actually. That shop should more or less finish this bastard here. This one I can just whip for two population whenever I feel like it. Maybe a little bit later when I grow again so I can work the three power tiles. Could look into turning this into a thingy. A pasture. Could also look into helping out down here. Actually, I think that guy will do that though. Um... Grab this spot if Brennus doesn't, but pretty happy with the six cities I have now. I got six cities, dude. The rest of the DDA I have six cities. Six cities are 1200 BC. It's not too shabby, if you ask me. Could also do this, but that means not working the gold for two turns, which is probably better to just whip then immediately and not work the gold for one turn and then grow back onto it immediately. I think that makes more sense. So I think I'll just whip this next turn. 
and I think I'll just miss the gold for one turn. I'll be size 2, whack the cottage and this grow back immediately, then whack the golds. I think that's fine. Improving this is not really a problem until we have some more happiness. Could mine for more hammers, although I don't think that's going to do too much at the moment. Not sure what else I need. This is getting whipped. This will get whipped eventually, size 4. I need the warrior in here. Okay, Brennus is fog busting these tiles. I don't think he's fog busting that. We'll just have to deal with it. We can get that axe out. Yeah, it should be alright. Yeah, I got the I already got the axe out. Okay, let's go here then. sense that really makes. Maybe I'll just make this a thing I chop this granary. I could even whip that if I want. Maybe I'll whip it. Oh! I can go right into him. That's what I can do. Get some commerce that way. Yeah. Almost finished it. Can even grow a bit more. May as well. Got a higher happy cap. I'm not going to do anything with the hammers after the library. I'm just going to run the scientists. sense I think. Don't care about the chariot. Let's do that. Let's do that. I don't know. Put hammers into the granary. Can't hurt. Okay now I can one turn or maybe not. Actually, yes, I should be able to, with the help of that tile. Hello, can we do that please, bro? Yes, one turn mysticism, perfect. Uh, let's do library here. Do I need a cottage here? I'm gonna drop two tiles and work scientists. Yeah, but that guy could work the cottage. Let's try that, let's chop here. Okay, yes, we need a road into this bastard. It's Gilgamesh going culture, apparently. Let's can whip this. Oh no! No, mysticism! Ah! Screwed myself. Shite, so I shouldn't have done that. I guess I can do this. Yeah, okay. Pretty pathetic, but what can you do? Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all. Finish the road the and then open borders the with these guys. That'll update the trade routes, I think. Yep, wow, it's five extra commerce. Pretty good deal there. Okay, so scientists, spam. Uh you have to grow. You need to whip a monument straight away. Next turn, because this bastard's going to pop borders any turn now. Let's 
Let's do that, slowly grow to size 6 here or whatever. Uh, four more turns. I could go and improve this. Yeah, go scientists here nice and early, and then I'll get another one out of here, hopefully. This looks like a good spot to run scientists. Okay, aesthetics next. Have everything I need, I think. Yeah, we we'll just go for aesthetics now. Trade for alpha. I'm sure these bastards will go for alpha. Still didn't pop borders, maybe I can hold the fish. Great lighthouse, huh? France, interesting. Maybe I should see if I can go get the Royal Capic deliberately spawn in barbs. Early scientist. Nothing better to build here, I guess. Yeah, I'll just go for that. Working decent commerce. We'll get the gems eventually. Maybe monument here. This bastard's gonna put quite a bit of culture pressure on me. Could cottage this. Maybe a bit early for that. Vishbalik will become unhappy. Okay, maybe we do need the chariots. Uh, okay, let's just grow, because we can. Two turns, that's pretty good. See if we can get some barbarians to spawn in. We'll just kill them with our axe. Another cottage that makes sense. Oh, yeah, cottage here for Besh Balak to work would be good as well. Take that. Yeah, okay, we need more cottages. five turns and then head down there and spawn some bastards in. Different monument here, bro. Cottage this as well, chop into Ning Hazia. Okay, here we go. Run scientists here too, dude. You can work this. You can work this. You can work this. Let's try that. Angry, really. 
can fix that. You ungrateful bastards, you can get whipped. You take that then, we chop out that. Let's work that until we have a cottage on this tile then. Okay, fighting back here at the culture that bastard is putting on me. Almost ready for aesthetics. More libraries coming up, more cottages. Yeah, the land is not too shabby. Stop going down here with your scouty idiots. I need to get barbs to spawn and kill them. This one, can I? No, not yet. Could do that. Improvement up there. Okay, get the border pop with the library. Yeah, I guess that's okay for now. Ah, oh, you will grow. No, you are not unhappy. I can fix that just in time. Perfect. Very slow progress on that. No barbs. This is going to be angry. Let's avoid growth for a bit. For one turn. Yeah. Is that enough to get me there? I need to do the math. I think so. I don't think my commerce situation will get any worse. So maybe I'll just go through aesthetics now, get there pretty darn early, if anything. Beat him. Okay, now we can grow. Let's work that, it's a bit better. Uh, we need another tile, so let's do that. Let's have you do that. This is fine. I need some cottages in here or something. I don't know. Could farm that because that's on the lake. I need to send some workers up there, but cottages come first down here. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, the cottages are growing. Our economy is doing pretty good, actually. How are we doing, GMP? Oh, I'm second in GMP. Yeah, eat that, you bastards. Scientific Jengus. Hell yeah. I don't see that every day. Yeah, I think you can just work this to make sure we get aesthetics in time, because I'm running out of money, actually. Well! Really putting a target on you, aren't you, my friend? That's going to pump out tons of culture. You know what? I'm going to chop this down right now, you bastard. I don't care. I don't care what I put it into. I'm going to chop that out right now, you freaking prick.
No. Maybe just get the stupid granary over with. Brennus will trade alphabet. Wow! Scientific Brennus. He's dangerous. Need to make sure he doesn't freaking come after us. Who got Judaism? I don't know. Okay, you bastard. He's... I'm gonna pop borders and steal this probably because he got the pyramids like a prick. Wonder if I could do that a couple turns just to get my stuff going here a bit faster. That way I could chop into the library and just two pop with the granary. Just for a couple turns I'll do that since I'm. Well, I could grow. Maybe grow first actually. Wait a second. I have an 825 BC aesthetics, that's not too shabby if you ask me. Try and get alphabet off these clowns next. Art for art's sake is an empty play. Art for the sake of truth, art for the sake of the good and the beautiful. That is the faith that I am searching for. Maybe I can trade fishing and aesthetics for it. And if I go big on research, we could make it happen. He's probably going to steal this tile. I won't even bother improving that. Just go for another worker in the meantime, dude. Gonna get alphabet and then probably just wait for the academy before going further. I might go for currency or something. I don't know. Could go literature if I can get a hold of marble. Maybe there's marble down here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, what what's the problem? With Panga, really? Can't get any stuff. I need to road into these bastards. What's what's that? Just a random road on that tile, dude. Would love to finish the growth. Let's grow really quick, then we get half the food bar for free with the granary. I don't know. Just do this for a turn, and then we'll grow in three with the pig. Want to prioritize the commerce and try and get alphabet next turn if I can. Yeah. Ah, you got fishing, you prick. Come on, you bastard. In any case, we'll do this. Three turns. I'm gonna two pop with the granary into the. Oh, hello. This is what I was looking for. That's a big problem if he ignores my axe, so hopefully he doesn't. Freaking prick came faster than I wanted. Gee, I might send a city for these three furs. Could put a mine here. I might go for fail gold on the the pyre. Okay, you cannot grow. Um sorry dude. that. 
pay them. Yeah, gets me more into alphabet. I should get it next turn. Okay, this guy's a bit of a problem. I need to sacrifice my scout and then smack him. Otherwise he's going to come in and mess me up. Surely he'll take the 100% odds killing that guy. Dude. What the hell is Gilgamesh? What two people don't have pottery yet? What the hell? <laughs> How do you fail to get pottery at 700 BC as a DDAI that gets spoon fed the wheel in agriculture for free? What are you idiots doing? What are you doing? He went like writing before pottery. What? These guys are weirdos, man. Holy crap. Caveman. Okay, yeah, we might go literature then, because I don't think these guys will go there pretty soon. If I can get math... Nobody has math. Alright, well... Uh, I assume they'll go for math eventually. I might just go currency anyway. Currency would really help me. That's like 12 beakers for my empire here. More if I settle the fur. Uh, this Barbax could be a problem if I get unlucky here. I mean, I will promote Shock and have like 85% against him, but that's still no guarantee. But yeah, we might actually go down here. Ah, I should be up here roading this because I'm about to trade for ironworking. Shite. I made a mistake. No! Mistakes have been made. Let's get that worker out. I kind of feel like I need more workers. Five turns for the scientist. Aha! Nice. Couple more fights like that and I'll get that rock epic up and running. Okay, dude. Get the gems. Uh, I guess I could chop this real quick. Sorry, one more turn of starving. Let's make sure the chop goes into here. So yeah, we're going to whip the granary with overflow into that library. That should work. Should get pretty close to finishing that library. In fact, since I'm not doing much, I could do that. Get a bit more hammers in the meantime. Need to be careful, I'm not fuck busting down here. I do have an axe, but still. Okay, dude, nine turns. Can we maybe borrow that? And you do that. We've got alphabet, so you know what that means. Research. Uh, research. And that's it. But we'll run some research. Do it in here too. Research is good. Yeah, let's get this settler out. Um, can I do something? Yeah. Dude, you don't have to put your face in there. What? Why not? What? Huh? You're a freaking bastard, man. This is like a really good deal, and you're just gonna be a prick about it. You must be about to get this. You don't have to put your face in the camera, you prick. Can I get this? Masonry for the cheap. It is from their foes, not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of building high walls. Why not? It's a good deal. Do not throw the arrow which will return against you. Okay, so the furs. Probably settle that when I get currency, like right there. So, I will want to road. Want to pre road that. Uh, do I want. Mine here would be good for running research, probably. Because I can grow a little bit as well with the one food. Then I get three beakers. It's a bit better than just running scientists if you're never going to get a scientist out. 
Okay, iron working next turn so we can get the gems. Come on guys, get there. You are having some serious issues, it seems. That's not cool. Yeah, it's gonna need like another chop, probably. More importantly though, let's get our gems. So I can send a chariot down there in case there's another axe. So I want to settle that city. Yeah, when I get the academy we can go full power, I think. That would be cool. Maybe I'll do this. And G actually just finally get the library out. Maybe that's the play. Yeah. Can you grow? No. Okay guys, we need the gems. What are we doing? We're slacking. That's what we're doing. We're being idiots, aren't we, guys? Like, come on, get up together. To the gems! Get the gems! I need the gems! Okay, trades... Oh, okay, you're giving me the pointy finger. You prick. Alright, thank you. At least you're reasonable. You should hammer your iron. Okay. And just trade ironworking to these idiots to get this cheap crap, because apparently only two people have ironworking. They are cavemen on this map, man. Like, what the hell? They are really slow. This feels like an average immortal game so far. Apart from ten cities already, that's, yeah. Typical DD bullshit. They expand like bastards, but the tech is slow. That's nice. Uh, math would be nice. I don't know if they're going to tech math. They might. I'd rather not self tech math, only to have like three people already have it. I'd rather just trade for it. Uh, let's do a couple more turns and see where we end up. 80 hammers. That will put it at. Okay, you know what? Just work commerce and one chop will finish that bastard. Yeah. <sighs> um. Yeah, it's not great, but... You know, making use of imperialistic nine hammers up to thirteen thanks to the stuff here. Pretty good, eh? to use this. That's uh, worse. As soon as I get the scientist out, I could swap. I could swap now, actually. What if I did that? And what if you did that? Wouldn't that make sense? I think that would make sense, dude. Heck yeah. Okay. Micromanagement, dude. Ah, Brennan's bastard. That's right. Let him have that. Make our push for currency. Chop that library out. Three guys go into the gems. Anything? Ooh. I wonder if I could kiss up to you. Get those ivories. Finley? Uh, forget meditation, I can build the pyre. Meditation brings or fail gold. Lack of meditation leads ignorance. Know well what leads you forward and what holds you back. 
Build the Paya. The Shawagadi Pagadi Paya. Can chop into it and stuff too. <clears throat> uh, dude, maybe just get this archer out, then I could really build the Paya in here for some. for a better deal. ready for that. Yeah, I've got to be careful of them sneaking in here as well. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I was one turn too early. Ah! Next turn we go for currency with an academy, I can full turn the bastard probably. Also, let's get this library up then, since we're gonna tech next turn. Since you're building research, you should be doing that, dude. Uh, priesthood... I don't want to get feared that I'm too advanced, to be honest. Come on, guys, we're gonna get math or what? Nobody is math, it's ridiculous. In any case, we're going currency. Academy, this bastard. Now, let's actually work our tiles. Take that one. Yeah! Two turn the settler, wipe the cottages. Okay, you are a disaster at the moment. Holy crap. But, you know, 12 hammers are turn into the pyre. It's not too shabby. Now we can road here, and then this guy can now walk here and chop. Yeah. Oh, thank you, India, for putting your archer in the city for me. What a nice guy. Stopping me from being unhappy for a turn. His garrison actually counts, believe it or not. Alright, yeah, there's not much to do here. Let's just do double scientists. I need to... I need more workers, dude. Let's whip a freaking worker here. Take it off avoid growth. I think it'll grow, even though it's not getting any food because the food bar is full. So I'll just whip a worker here next turn, I think. Actually, we can... Overflow into the pyre or something with that overflow, maybe. And then, yeah, pushing for currency, hopefully in four turns. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will be back. <laughs>